Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to short a stock on the Weeble Paper Trading app. And what that basically is, is that you're basically selling a stock at a certain price. Let's say it's at $10, right? And if the stock price decides to drop down in value, let's say to $5, you make the difference in between. So 10, uh, you're selling at 10, buying at five to cover your position and you make the profits in between basically $5. And that's basically the whole idea of it. And you don't have to have own any shares to begin with. You just start selling and there's risk involved. So your traditional buy and sell, you basically buy low and sell high. There's a little bit less risk, but there is still risk. But in this case, you're banking on the market to go down or stock price to go down in value. And if it doesn't go down in value, you'd be losing a lot of money, money in this. And the potential of losing a lot of money is unlimited, but you can only make a certain amount of money. So basically if the stock or if a company decides to go zero, that's how much money you can make. So your uh, potential of profiting is capped, but your potential of losses is unlimited limited but there's risk to uh there's there's ways to mitigate this risk and basically by doing a lot of trades you know looking at the fundamental and the technical analysis aspect of it and there's a lot of stuff involved in terms of you know banking on do executing the strategy and the specific trading in general but if you do more trades you practice on paper trading and this is by the way on the Weibo platform it's uh paper trading just basically no no risk at for you at all just you could test out different strategies you know no money you don't have to put in any money but if you do uh, sign up if you haven't signed up already uh, go ahead and sign up with Weeble because they offer this account and you could tra paper trade options in it too as well and I have links down below if you do sign up with Weeble they're still giving me out guys free stocks and you could just go ahead and fund the account you don't have to do any trades online or uh, as of now you could just go ahead sign up fund an account and then start paper trading and then until you get comfortable with it you can still go ahead and jump into uh, actually trading on your account and I prefer this method because then you don't have to risk anything at all or your own money so without further ado I'm gonna just go ahead and jump in the Weeble app and then show you guys how to short a position there so what you want to do is find the paper trading icon so in order to get to this screen go to the bottom right and click on menu and then you'll be in this screen and then what you want to do is slide to the left and then you'll see paper trade icon right over here so click on paper trade and it'll take you to this screen and you can reset this uh, account value if you want. So right now it's basically at $10,000 with a clean state. So you hit the reset right over here. I'm sorry about this. I'm going to move this to the side. And, uh, and notice that my position, there's nothing in my position right now. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, how to short a position. So right now, quick trade, just click on that and it'll take me to this screen and right now on the top you could type in any of the stock that you want to trade well not any of the stock you could short sell there's a certain only a limited of uh companies or stocks that you could uh short sell so but in this case tesla is one of them so i'm going to just go ahead and click on tesla because there's a lot of price uh action going on so now right now it's trading at 275 uh ish 276 ish if you want to round up but right now it's 275 276 ish I'm gonna go ahead and click on paper trade on the bottom. So right now it'll take me up to this order screen. So uh, if I scroll down a little bit, uh, you can see the the buy and sell type. Uh, so I'm gonna be selling, right? So shorting position, you're selling position. Like I said earlier, you're selling a stock and then you could choose a limit type. So in this case, uh, for this example, I wanna execute a little bit faster than normal because this is just an example. And you can set the limit to however you, whatever you desire for it to execute. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna do a market type. So I just wanna execute quickly. So I'm gonna choose market right over here and it'll knock down a lot of stuff, right? So because it's just a market, you don't have to pick your price. So in this case, I'm gonna do just one share. So one, timing, uh, timing four is gonna just leave that as day. And notice my estimated amount is gonna be 275. And of course, it's gonna be between these bid and ask. So bid, again, is what the buyers are willing to buy a uh, stock at, and the ask is what the seller is willing to sell the stock at. So you have your bid and ask, and usually it's gonna be right here near the bid size so 275 kind of makes sense so i'm going to hit paper trade and then it's working working i'm going to refresh this page and it got filled so it got filled at 275.90 which is what i you know thought it was going to get filled at so 275.90 so remember this number uh and then i'm going to go and head and back out so click on the little carrot icon and then click, click on the little carrot icon again, and then cancel. So basically I'm 
cancel right over here. And then now I'm gonna be back in my account right over here. So in this account, you could note it, you can see that I am shorting one position or one Tesla share at two uh, at two hundred and seventy five dollars and ninety cents. And because it has gone up in value, basically the six cents, right? I'm losing money. So basically, I'm losing six cents if I sell. So remember this uh, price right here, right over here, two seventy five ninety. And this is going to be uh, crucial because I'm going to show you how to close a position if you were making money and in this case i'm losing money by the way so i'll be buying back this share to just to cover my position uh shortly so i'm going to refresh this one more time and see what the price is at right now is uh plus 20 uh 27 cents so i'm making money right now so remember this again right i'm going to go ahead and click on this i'm going to be closing the position basically buying back the share that originally sell sold that so i'm click on this and then there's a short one and then buy to close. So what, what, what I'm gonna do is buy to close. Click on buy to close. And if I just move this out of the way, and if I scroll down again, I am looking at the buy order, right? So instead of limit, just for the sake of this example, I'm gonna just click on the market, right? So click on the market, quantity just one, time and, uh, time and force is gonna just be day. And now that I'm buying back one Tesla share. So I'm not sure what it's going to be buying that back at, but I'll show you the difference and how much money I made or lose. So I'm going to go ahead and paper trade. Okay, it's working right now. I'm going to just refresh this page and it should be filled and it got filled. So it got filled at 275.68. So 275.68, 275.68. And then it seems like, yeah, I made money on this trade. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this little icon, little carrot, go back. And then I'm gonna just refresh this and voila. So I made at 22 cents. So if you do the math, um, if you do the math, so two, let me just pull up a calculator real quick. So I got my calculator right over here. So originally I sold the Tesla share at 275.9 and then subtract the difference. So it's gonna be 270. 5.68 and now it's 22 cents so that reflects the price that you know or the amount that i made so 22 cents that i made and so if you do this over and over again just you know practice look at fundamentals te technical analysis you could be a pretty good you know short seller if you if you want so anyways that's pretty much it for today hope you guys learned a little bit uh something new today if so feel free to give it a like and maybe uh subscribe for more weekly uploads like these i'll do more paper training tutorial if you guys like and if you has if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll catch you all later